Che to the che, kia re te whānau, no mai hoki mai to keeping up with te puanga māra as we journey the world of e-commerce through an Indigenous lens on kāhau i te ao e-commerce programme. Mihi ana ki te whare huka huka. Uh, we've just jumped on today to have a little bit of a quarter all about what we've been learning this week as a part of Module 5. In Module 5 we covered setting up or building our one-page store, Part 1. Kapai Fano said this week's module was all around the building blocks for creating a successful online store. We looked at three main building blocks. Building block number one was a product service photo, which was pretty much a high quality image or high quality images that display the value of your product. The second building block or building block number two was a product service description, which was all around how we explain and describe the features and benefits of our product. And the third Last but not least, the third building block was social proof, which was all about evidence that our product is on. Stay tuned to learn more, Fano. Building block number one, Ete Fano. This is product service photos, and I'm just going to quickly run through three of the main learnings that we got from this part of the module. Our first key takeaway was about how important product service photos are. We learnt that 93% of people use visual appearance when they're deciding whether or not to buy something online. This leads into our second key takeaway. So our second key learning whānau was about how to use our smartphones to take visually appealing pictures of our products. So we got to learn uh, some tricks and tips on how to use our smartphone and other instruments to be able to take professional photos. This leads into our third key learning, which was all about visually answering the questions any of our customers might have. We can do this by using a white background, controlling the shadow, providing high detailed images, or even by providing pictures of people using our product. Over to you, Naps, with our second building block. Um, module 5, section 2. Section two is about products slash service descriptions. And um, what I learned whilst doing this section was um, start your sentence with the word imagine and finish the sentence or paragraph by describing how your reader would feel as if feeling the real experience of owning or using the product or service. Um, seduce your readers with sensory words. Sensory words engage more brain processing power. Um, food aids, for example, hit the five senses, sight, sound, smell, touch and taste. Um, make your description scannable and make them different, split test it, find out what works, what doesn't, take the wins and cut the losses. Kia ora noi te iwi, so today I'm here to talk to you about social proofing. What is social proofing? Well, basically, it's a technique that um, influencers on social media use to influence people to buy their product. So social proofing is using things like trends. It's using your aesthetic, your vibe, basically um, your visualness, like how things look, how things are, to influence people to buy your product. Because not everyone's going to read a long description of something. People just want that instant, like, just look at it and know, okay, yes, I want that. I want that vibe in my life. I need that because through this visual aesthetic is a way of social proofing your product. So rather than having a really long product description, you want something that's visually appealing that draws people in straight away. And that's basically what social media influencing is, Fano, because people see you and they want to adapt their behavior to be like you and the way you hold yourself. At